Hey, welcome. My name is Nick, aka I can PlayStation. And today we're going to talk about um, how to set up um, a controller in FSUAE to play Amiga games, namely Tarikin 2, the final fight is on the menu tonight. So normally you would play Tarikin 2 in its original form with the Competition Pro. But in 2021, this is kind of tedious. So I wanted to go and opt for a controller. All right, so I've been using this controller over here. It is an 8 bit do SN30 Pro. And it's really nice. It's, it's basically a Super Famicom uh, controller, but uh, has a lot of buttons that you can configure. So let me show you what the game looks like if you play it without setting up anything at all. All right, nice. Here's the game. Fire, 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 fire. Everything is just fire. I can use the joystick. I can use the D-pad to duck and jump. You can hold down fire for this beam. And that's basically it. Um, So the first thing that is obvious, oh Jesus, is that on a, on a controller you don't want to jump by pressing D-pad up. D-pad up. You want to jump pressing a button. It doesn't work. The next thing that is also very obvious is that there is no auto fire. So no rapid fire. I have to press the button over and over again. But yeah, this is a pain in the ass. Uh, Let's just save the state real quick. And um, set up the controller properly. All right, here we go. This is the configuration file for uh, the Tarikin 2 configuration that actually works. So what did I do over here? Let me just show you real quick. All right, this is the floppy drive. We don't have to talk about that the kickstart file and the initial window height and width. Um, that's all like basic stuff. The interesting part is this one. So first of all, um, I, I had to find out which buttons my, my joypad actually use. And then to uh, then I remap them. And what did I do? First of all, this is the auto fire button that I talked about in the other video as well. N once again, notice that even though I'm configuring joystick zero over here, I have to configure joy one over there. This is sort of like a weird thing going on in FSUAE, but it's, it's just like it is. Um, all right, so this is the first thing. I wanted to have an auto fire button. Then I want to have the space button configured to one of my joypad buttons because that gives you that flash attack, right? Boom. <laughs> um, also, I wanted to be able to jump with one of the uh, joypad buttons. So that's why I configured the action joy one up over here. Um, I configured action key P for pause to button seven, which is the start button in my case. So I can press the start button to pause and unpause the game. And also, which is super fancy over here, we have a save state and the restore state button. So I can just press a button on my joypad. It saves the state and another button to load the state, which is really, really useful. All right. Also, you notice that I have a few action non actions configured. And this is just because I wanted to have no action when I press these buttons. Uh, these were on these buttons. There were strange defaults. Uh, so I just overrode them with action none. So nothing happens if you press the axis for in the negative direction or button four, which I can't even remember which button it was. It was just something that bothered me. So this basically is a clean configuration file for this controller over here. And it has all the cool buttons set up for Tarikin. Let me show you how this configuration works. All right, we are back in the game. And as you can see, we have auto fire on this button over here on the Y button. We have jump configured to the B button, so I can just have auto fire enabled and jump. 
we have regular fire on the X button, so I can hold the X button and have that beam thing going on. We have the lightning thingy over here. And if we want to roll, we have to duck and press A, so we can roll. Place a few bombs, nice. And if we want to have the smart bomb, which is basically uh, regular fire plus the beam, we just press regular fire plus beam and have the smart bomb going on. Insane, right? Um, also, if we want a safe state, we can just go over here and I press my safe state button, which is the small one over here, that you don't press it by accident. Then you die by jumping into something and you just hit select to load. Select to load. Select to load. So cool. And of course, we have uh, the start button over here for pause. Select to load. <laughs> now it's good fun. Now we can use the D-pad, we can use the joystick, we have rapid fire. We have rapid fire, we have the beam. Ow. And this is how I imagine to play Tarakin 2, or any Tarakin really, in 2021. <laughs> Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, have fun playing Tarakin and setting up a controller properly in FSUA. Bye-bye.